So Nicole's coming back from school and we're actually gonna be surprising her with her Camaro once again. She has no idea that we finally got it back today. We were actually gonna give it to her on Thanksgiving day, but we just have such a busy schedule that just doesn't fit our schedule. But yeah, I'm very excited. Um, we text Jonathan and told him to let us know once they're on their way, that way we can surprise her. And Esther just literally ran outside and he's gonna bring the Camaro once I text him. Sí. Una docena, por favor. Who do you think you are, King? Yeah. Nicole, I have a surprise for you. No. Guess what? Guess who's having a baby? You. No. Keep guessing. No. Guess who? <laughs> like me. Is she, is she close to us? Um. Yeah. Really close to us. Like physically close or like? Keep guessing. Guess who's having a baby? <laughs> Keep guessing. Nina. <laughs> nope. Okay, I, I give up. Okay, let me call. Let me make a phone call really quick. No, look over there. How do I look over there? <laughs> <laughs> computer! And your computer laptop! <laughs> Why are you crying? You don't even know how to drive. <laughs> she don't even know how to drive. <laughs> now you guys learn how to drive? Why are you crying ridicula? <laughs> you didn't even cry like this when we gave it to you. Huh? I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, but I'll let <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh Get on it, Ethan. Uh, Nicole, do you really know how to drive? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back. I swear, if you crash, Nicole, this is coming out of your AdSense. You don't even know how to go. Hey, <laughs> okay, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications so you will not miss a video of Nikki V's. Okay, guys, so you will not believe what just happened to me while I was arriving home from school. I let me just lock this real quick. As you guys can see, I just got my car back, guys. I am so happy. This is like, what, a dream come true again because I only had my car for a little bit. And then, if you know, you know. You guys saw that I did not have a car for like three or four months now. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it here. But if you guys wanna watch like the whole video about what happened, you guys can go watch my parents' channel, which is the Aguilar's. I will be leaving that down below so you guys can go watch. So like before everything, one day we were in California. It was me, my parents, and we were just about to eat and everything. And we got a phone call from my boyfriend. And he lives like super close to me. 
my dad needed a car for the next day and my car needed an oil change so i'm sorry if i sound a little weird because i'm sick but my dad had called jonathan asking him if he can go take um the car to go get an oil change so jonathan said yes he got my car he took it and after he got the car back from an oil change he saw like the little um sign thing the little signal saying that it needs an oil change and jonathan was like what i just took it to go get its oil changed so he took it back to the place and then the and then the guy had told him like oh like we'll fix it like just come back in 15 more minutes or something like that and um you can get your car back so after jonathan had gone to pick it up again he was in the freeway <clears throat> sorry if there's no good lighting but yeah so he was in the freeway um and he was in the middle lane and when he was in the middle lane, the car just stopped. And I guess the steering wheel got hard and he couldn't like switch it. So if he didn't like move to the other lane to try to get out, he would have crashed. And when he said that, I was like, damn, I feel so bad. Like when he called us, I thought it was a prank. I was like, no, this cannot be happening. He is pranking us. I know when Jonathan is lying, like he has his little voice, you know? Not, not saying that he likes me, but you know, when we play around, and I guess he had like a meet that day like he had hosted his own meet and he sounded so like not mad but like frustrated because he was not gonna be able to arrive and so that's when I started to believe that my car had messed up oh and I did not say what happened to it but the engine blew up and, and I was reading about like the engine blowing on a car and I guess that Camaros are like like not number ones but our our car is known for that you know and when i told my mom she was like what what if, if i would have known that would have not got you that car but i mean it's my dream car so and um so yeah that's what basically happened to my car because a lot of people ask me what happened to my car a lot of people are saying mm -hmm. like oh jonathan was the one that messed up your car that's why you don't let him use it Oh, that's why you shouldn't be letting him use it and stuff like that but like and he was getting hate for it too and i feel bad because i mean i know it wasn't his fault yes guys if you guys have seen my intro it's super old i will be doing an intro probably with my car who knows um i feel like that would be super cute if i do an intro with my car let me know how you guys feel about that um i want to be taking it out more in my channel just because it's been gone for so long i've missed it so much so yeah there's a lot of things i want to do to my car um hopefully i do this soon so you guys can see i for sure want to tint my windows um uh, my boyfriend has a friend that can do that so i'm gonna decorate it pink jonathan if you've seen this i'm gonna do it pink he told me he's like you better not do anything to your car i don't want to see no pink or any little stuff but i'm gonna do it watch and guys it took them forever to fix my car almost four months or four months i'm not sure how many months but every time i tell people like how many months it took they're like hell no you need a new car like tell them to go get a new car but like this is my car and i'm blessed to say that i got this car when i was 16 years old um thanks to my parents and yeah, but I was so close to like wanting another car. I know what other car I wanted, but I'll probably get that in the future. I remember me telling my dad yesterday, like, they're not fixing my car. I know they're not. Like, it's like it probably has no value anymore. It's not gonna work anymore. I'm pretty sure this will keep happening. And then he told me yesterday, he's like, no, you need to give them more time. But he already knew that my car was ready yesterday. And when I heard him say that, I was like, what makes him say that? Like, he's been the one bugging too. Like, oh, they need to hurry up with your car and stuff like that. And when he said that yesterday, that kind of gave me like, uh, like my car's probably ready or something. But I just didn't really think about that. When my mom told me I have a surprise for you, I looked around and I was like, my Camaro. And when she said no, I was like, oh, like, that's why I said my Camaro first, but just because of the talk I had with my dad yesterday. So yeah, I, I hope that kind of wraps up everything you guys been asking me. Um, the problem with my car was the engine blew. Um, it took four months for them to fix my car and I know it's a process and I'm just very thankful I have my car now. I will be showing it off a lot. I will be using it a lot now. I don't care. I haven't been having my car for a long time. So yeah. 
so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video it was just like a little sitting down video me talking about like what happened to my car and i've been getting these questions a lot from you guys so that's why i needed to sit down and oh my god and I, I need to sit down myself and just explain a little bit from my point of view how much i miss my car and how thankful i am to have it now and a big thank you to my parents they really made my dream come true i didn't get to have a quinceanera but i did get to have my car and my dream car so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys on my next one